I'm Owen Bigline. This is the Inside Edge video blog. This is going to be a little different blog. This one I'm going to do a little cheerleading for Vancouver. Uh, the reason I'm going to do this, I've wanted to do this for quite a while, is because of all the negativity that's been out there over the last few years. I've blogged about it. A lot of people like to complain, you know, complain about everything. Vancouver real estate uh, is too expensive. The city's being hollowed out. Young people are moving out. Vancouver isn't the city that it used to be. We've lost our city. And I have to laugh at a lot of these comments. I mean, I, I really think, uh, well, I know that people uh, tend to not realize how good we have it living in a city like Vancouver. Is it perfect? No. Is it an expensive city to live in? Absolutely. Not only for real estate, but it's an expensive city in every way. You want to park your car downtown here, groceries, food, entertainment. Vancouver is an expensive city, but if someone can show me a city that has everything Vancouver has, the mild winters, sure we get a lot of rain, mild winters, great summers, the seawall, Stanley Park, Grouse Mountain, Whistler, quick flight down to Los Angeles if you want, the shopping. Uh, if you can show me a city that's on par with Vancouver that has cheap real estate, please let me know. I'd like to maybe buy something there. Uh, you know, Good cities with good lifestyles go hand in hand with expensive real estate. Now, I know people are frustrated with the prices and where they're at. In a lot of ways though, and a lot of people tell me that come up here and I tell them you know, that I'm from Vancouver when I'm visiting places like New York or San Francisco, will often comment that, gee, you know, I know your real estate's expensive, but with the Canadian dollar and everything else, geez, you guys have got it not too bad. Uh, and we do, compared to a place like New York or San Francisco or Southern California or even Miami or London, our prices still aren't that bad. They're not cheap, don't get me wrong, before I get a lot of hate mail, it's an expensive city to live in, but in my opinion, it's worth it. And uh, I get this from a lot of people who will tell me that, I don't, that visit from Vancouver, uh, that they'll tell me that, you know, Vancouverites, don't realize how good they have it. They should get out a little bit more, travel a bit, come back to Vancouver and see the lifestyle that we've got here. And it often reminds me of something that Warren Buffett used to say. As you guys know, I'm a huge fan of Warren Buffett. But Warren Buffett, when people, he's such a modest guy, people will often ask him the first question, what do you base your success on? How did you create the wealth you did? What's your secret? Buffett will always tell people that the secret is, is that I was born an American. I was won the genetic lottery. I was born in, as an American to a good mother and father. And uh, people should realize that too, being born Canadian or being born in Vancouver, how good we have it here. I think we take it for granted, the lifestyle that we have here. Yeah, we pay for it with higher real estate prices than a lot of smaller cities like Edmonton or Regina. Or if you want to move down to the States, you can live in Boise, Idaho and buy a mansion for four or five hundred thousand. But I don't think they're going to have the same lifestyle we've got here. If you're living downtown in Vancouver, being able to ride the seawall or do the grouse grind or the restaurants, the shopping we have here, it's clean air, uh, mild winters, nice warm summers. You don't need an air conditioner, no humidity. Um, so I just wanted to throw this out there for people that uh, there's a reason why Vancouver's prices are where they're at. This is a fantastic city to live and I read these comments in the Globe and Mail and Vancouver Sun about people uh, saying Vancouver isn't the same anymore. As a matter of fact, I, I think Vancouver is better than it's ever been. Uh, I look back, I moved here from Ontario. My dad was transferred out here back in the 80s and you know the, the city has transformed so much uh, just in the last 10 years for the better. Um, yeah, it's expensive, but uh, there's so much uh, more things going on in Vancouver every single year. And uh, I don't think that's gonna change. It's gonna keep going that way. You can tell just the way the future developments are coming down online in the next five years or so where they're headed to. Vancouver is quickly becoming a very major West Coast city. It will never be a world-class city. There's only so many of those you can dole out. But uh, as far as lifestyle goes, it doesn't get much better. And by far, if you're a Canadian, this is hands down the best city in Canada, by far. Because I know I'll get people that'll say, oh, you can you know, go to Vietnam or, or, uh, or Thailand and live like a king for $1,000 a month. 
I mean, great places to visit. Do you really want to live there full time? Um, you know, or they'll say you can go re relocate to the U.S. Well, most people can't live and work in the U.S. unless you've got a visa or a green card. So if you're Canadian, this by far is the best city to live. And I think a lot of people take it for granted here, the lifestyle that we have. You pay for what you get is what I've always told people. I'm Owen Big Len. I'll see you next week.